Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, depending on whenever and wherever you are when watching this video. My name is Art Wenning. For many years I was Secretary General of Emota, the voice for distance selling in Europe. Today I'm a member of the IMR World Team, which closely cooperates with IMRG, the voice of e-retail in the UK. We have made a report about global B2C e-commerce, which contains trends, issues, data and forecasts for this fast-growing industry. Why did we do that? For two reasons mainly. By providing a global overview, including historical data and current trends and forecasts, retailers can approach cross-border trades with confidence, equipped with the anal analysis and information to enable a successful entry into a new market. And secondly, it is essential to communicate figures and data on this fast-growing industry to consumers, media and government, thereby positioning the industry as the important driver of the economy it is. Some of the findings of the report are the following. First of all, that total B2C e-commerce sales in 2010 are estimated to have grown to 591 billion euro, an increase of close to 25% over 2009. I'm on world estimates that growth will continue in the coming years, passing the trillion euro mark in the year 2013 and doubling thereby the size of 2009. World leaders are the USA, followed by the UK and Japan. As the indications show, these markets will continue to grow in the next years with between 15 and 20 percent. However, in our view, the biggest growth area will be the Asia-Pacific region, with especially China and India. Not to forget, of course, the countries in Southern and Eastern Europe, including Russia and Latin America. The UK e-shoppers, we found, had the highest spend of over 1,300 euro per capita in 2010, followed by the Scandinavians. We have prepared country profiles, first of all from leading countries, like the USA, UK, Japan and Australia, but also upcoming countries, in first instance the BRIC countries, Brazil, China, India, Russia, which countries have excellent economic futures and will in the coming years be leading in internet and e-business. And we also intend to bring these profiles up to date on a regular basis and also add more country profiles in the coming month. We found also that there are other issues of interest for the further development of internet and e-business, such as the importance, the important digital agenda in Europe, the still existing barriers in cross-border which makes accessing new markets still very cumbersome for companies. In developing countries, growth of internet and mobile internet and e-commerce is subject to political stability and government support to encourage investment in developing the infrastructure. There are differences in measuring e-business as researchers, trade associations and offices of national statistics still use different def definitions as to which figures or sectors are included and which not. Therefore, IMRG, the voice of online retail in the UK, has developed the global e-commerce measurement standard, JAMS, which is modelled after the IMRG Capgemini e-retail sales index. Also, the importance of a trust mark to increase consumer confidence. And we point out the breakthrough of M-commerce, often referred to as next generation e-commerce. Also the growing importance of social networks as a means and a must these days to get closer to the consumer. Finally, this overview could not have been realized without consulting a great many sources around the globe. More and more research is published in many countries as internet and e-commerce penetrate deeper into our society and become 
an ever greater part of our day-to-day -day lives. We have done our utmost to carefully study the available data, making the necessary and hopefully the right choices in which information to focus upon. This report will be made available on the IMO World website and for IMRG members and for outsiders under the conditions mentioned on the website. This is Art Wedding for IMO World in Brussels.